Hello everyone and good afternoon. Welcome to uh, the new Bizimix Forum. Uh, in the name of uh, our uh, CEO, CEO, Mr. Gadamir, that uh, for some personal reason is not available to be now today with us. He wanted to uh, tell you that uh, it's a pleasure for us to generate this kind of forum. We'll do this forum uh, regularly one in two months. Um, and uh, we'd like to wish you a good success with the, your projects, a good use of the software, and uh, tell you that at every, every time you want, you can contact us, and it will be a pleasure for us to support in the way to use the software in order to understand uh, the mixing uh, characteristics and how the mixing can influence your process and how to succeed in your in your pro, in your project. The main idea of this forum is to uh, uh, meet you with experts, with people that work in this uh, area and with the software, of course, and try to uh, share with you how is the way to think in order to try to solve these kind of uh, issues when you are in the middle of your project. And of course, the main is to generate a good product and a good project for the company. With us is uh, uh, Dr. Victor Atimo Beng that is well known in this community. He's uh, retired from Dow Chemical and worked for many, many years. And he has a very good expertise about mixing and how to to understand the mixing as a part of the knowledge of the process. He was, uh, is one of the editors, co-editors of the Handbook of Industrial Mixing and uh, the second edition of this book that is Advanced Concept in Mixing uh, that support uh, uh, but other uh, people in the, in the edition and support by North American Mixing Forum. Uh, this book um, uh, the next uh, meeting we announce now is uh, will be uh, done by uh, Mr. Josie Mendel from Teva uh, Company. It is a generic, generic and, uh, and uh, ethical company that is generating some pharmaceuticals for the industry in API and Final Dodge. Uh, I will be in uh, as I explained before that uh, in the next uh, two months during the middle of the end of uh, June. Uh, because we are many, many people here connected now, I cannot open the microphone for everyone. What we'll do, of course, when you have any questions, please write the question in the chat. If we have some way to answer during the meeting, we'll be very happy. If not, we will, of course, send to you the answer by email. Uh, we are many people here. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, it will be the best way to do. So with uh, uh, no more uh, uh, time, I will give the microphone to our first uh, 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 participant, or uh, more than participant, first uh, lecturer, Dr. Victor Atimo Bank. Victor, welcome and good uh, morning, afternoon, or evening, because we have people here from Japan to USA. So, we're, Victor, please, I hope we can hear you. Victor? Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Uh, let me start off by saying that it's, it's really uh, a great honor for Vizimix to ask me to open this Vizimix forum. Uh, as Moshe introduced me, um, I retired from the Dow Chemical Company after about 34 years there. Now, whilst at, whilst at the Dow Chemical Company, I had the very good fortune of um, acquiring knowledge about mixing and actually was involved in the number of very successful processes that involved mixing. When I joined Dow, I knew really very little about mixing, mixing technology, mixing science and mixing technology. And so the knowledge that I acquired, I acquired during my time at Dow, working on these various uh, 
interesting, very interesting uh, projects and processes. So again, welcome. It's uh, a, a great pleasure for me to share with you. Now, the forum itself is really intended to build a community of expert Visimix users. That's my understanding from uh, Gadamir and, uh, and uh, uh, Moshe. And this community, the hope is that they, will, they would um, understand the relationship between mixing parameters and process results. And in the future, the presenters, the expert presenters of Visimix will use case studies and address the proven protocols and techniques for effective process R&D scale-up and production. Today, what I want to do is to just share with you uh, some, some of my perspective about the tool, Visimix itself, and very briefly share with you a, a few case studies uh, that we did a DAO very, very early in the process uh, to try and understand really what Visimix was capable of doing. Uh, we started using Visimix back in the late uh, 90s. And I'll share with you the reasons why we, we decided to go with Visimix as part of this presentation. So let's move on. Now, let me start off by sharing with you this uh, piece of advice. This is something that I learned at Dow, is that the surest way to become an expert in something, in the subject matter, is to develop the passion or to uh, have the passion to learn, apply, and document, and also if you have the opportunity to teach. Because when you teach, you really, before you can teach, you really have to have a good comprehension, a good understanding of the subject matter and so on. And I must say that I have I've had the pleasure of being able to do this at Dow. And uh, hopefully some of that will come through in this presentation. Now, I want to start off by sharing with you some of the resources that are available, are available to you for learning. The first one is the North American Mixing Forum. It's a forum which is aligned to the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. Anybody can become a member. And the forum's goal is to really advance and promote and advance uh, mixing research. So the forum holds biannual conferences the next conference will be in 2018 in Puerto Rico. The last one was in last year, 2016, in Quebec City. And people attend these conferences to interact with experts in the mixing technology, mixing field, present papers, and get a chance to um, discuss the challenges, the mixing problems, and so on. Another resource is the fluid mixing processes uh, consortium. It's an industrial consortium of various uh, companies and they direct the kinds of research that needs to be done. Um, again, I would encourage your company to explore participation in FMP. Now, of course, Moshe already mentioned these, these two resources that you see here on the slide. Uh, these resources were actually were resources that were sponsored by the North American Mixing Forum. And as you can see, I had the great privilege of being uh, a co-editor of both books. There's a lot of useful, very, very useful information in there. Um, and I, if you want to learn about mixing technology, I would, I would certainly encourage you to get your hands on uh, both of these uh, resources. Actually, if you buy the advances in industrial mixing, within it will be a DVD that incorporates all of what's in the handbook of industrial mixing. So I will encourage you to 
take advantage of this of this resource. And of course, today what we're talking about is resource Vizimix. And as I show on the slide, Vizimix encompasses or includes several different products. Vizimix Turbulent, Vizimix uh, DI, Vizimix Lamina, Vizimix RSDE, Vizimix Pipeline, and Vizi Excel. Now, some of you may have all of these tools. Uh, some of you may online may be just exploring to try and learn about Vizimix. Um, but these tools are tools that have been developed over a, a long period, starting back in the uh, early 80s. But they actually, the origins of them go back to probably 1960, 19, in the 50s and so on, when the the principles behind the tool were people in in the, the uh, USSR uh, or currently Russia who were had the responsibility of developing chemical processes for the uh, for the country and they developed expertise and uh, when they emigrated to Israel they formed they worked with Gadamir and others to compile this expertise, this great knowledge into a very, very uh, accessible to us, I will, sh I will share with you later on in, in the presentation. So these are the tools that are available. And of course, for this inaugural presentation of this forum, I'm not really going to get into any details as to how to use these that will come in when subsequent presenters talk about the tool and about the case studies. Needless to say, the tool is really based on some very fundamental work that was done by these principals who founded the company uh, when they were in the uh, USSR. And it's, it's uh, very fundamentally based. But what they have successfully done is to capture this information with this software that makes it very, very accessible for you to, to very quickly solve mixing problems. Okay? And I, I will, I'll, sh I'll show you a few features of, uh, of the tool in a minute. So, Back in when a few years after we acquired Vizimix, I was asked to describe this tool, Vizimix. And this is what I came up with. So this was probably back in the early 200 or so. It's a highly accessible PC software for mixing calculations, of course, developed by an Israeli company. It is a rating calculation tool, however. And it's good for both non-reactive and reactive mixing involving blending, solid suspension, gas dispersion, liquid-liquid dispersion, heat transfer. And these are processes that occur in stirred vessels. So the limit, the limitation is the processes that occur in stirred vessels. Now, one of the products that I showed earlier, if I go back, let's see. There is Vizimix Pipeline. I've never used Vizimix Pipeline. But a new tool that has also been added since I wrote that description is Vizimix RSDE, which describes status and, and their use in uh, chemical processing and so on. So, so it's, a, it's a very complete suite of tools that they have developed. Now, in addition to describing the mixing processes, there's also uh, a feature in there that allows you to analyze the mechanical stability of the equipment that you select, the mixing equipment that you select. So as, as I will show later on, it's a very complete suite. As far as I know, there is n nothing equivalent on the market that competes with this tool. I mean, there are tools out there on the market. There's one called Celebrum Mix. Uh, they, 
the equipment vendors have their own tools that they share with uh, their, their clients and so on. Uh, there, there are similarities there, but uh, in terms of the coverage and so on, as I'll, show, I'll share in a minute here, this is unique. Back in uh, 2011, Visimix had an international conference in Boston and I was invited to talk and the title that I, I the presentation that I gave was called Visimix Productivity Tool for the Analysis Scale Up Design of Mixing Processes in Stirred Tanks. I want to share with you some of the features, the things that I mentioned during that presentation because I think it, they're still relevant. What I sought to do during that presentation was address three aspects of Visimix. Its relevance, its accessibility, and its reliability. So let's look at some of the relevant aspects of uh, Visimix. It addresses the covers hydrodynamics in stirred vessels, very quite thoroughly. It addresses single phase mixing, so blending blending by itself or blending with reactions, and it can address batch, semi-batch, and continuous processes. If you have solids with your liquids, so solid liquid mixing, Visimix addresses that also quite comprehensively. Liquid-liquid mixing, when you're doing liquid dispersions, it does that, it covers that. Liquid-gas mixing, when you're doing gas dispersions, it also covers heat transfer mass transfer and liquid solid systems and of course as I mentioned earlier the mechanical calculation of the of the shaft so it, it's very relevant when you deal with it these are some of the tank types and uh, of course the tanks of the top show tanks with uh, conventional jackets and of course tanks with half pipe core jackets and other jackets that you can simulate a variety of uh, impellers that are available on the market are uh, covered, uh, addressed. Various baffle types or no baffle systems, uh, tanks with no baffles are addressed. So it covers a broad range of stair tank mixing problems. Wide variety of impeller vessels and baffles. And you can use the tool to look at equipment of different scales and sizes. So you can look at lab equipment and even in beakers, pilot plant equipment, and plant scale, any scale really. There are no limits on, on, as far as that is concerned. Because the hydrodynamic regimes that it covers, it covers both turbulent and lamina. So they're, they're two different tools. If when you're doing your calculation, uh, Visimix, one of the first things that it would check is whether your flow in the tank is generally turbulent or generally lamina. And it would tell you, and if you're using the wrong tool, it would tell you and it would, it would let you, it would alert you so that you can select, switch to the right tool. Now, of course, if you have a tool that is relevant, the, the next question is, is it accessible? Can people interact with it and use it and use it profitably? So accessibility is the, the other access. And it's very accessible. The interface that they've provided allows anybody to really add, uh, come to the tool and use it. And so input, inputs, input screens are very easy to, uh, to work with and so on. These are just, I'm just going to run through some of these input screens. So you have, but the, the thing that you should notice as I scroll through these various input screens is that you cannot come to this tool with zero knowledge. I mean, you have to have some knowledge about your process because it's going to ask you for information. Later on, I will, I will summarize these, the kinds of information that uh, you're going to need to provide. So let's just go very quickly through again. So here will be equipment dimensions. Okay. Equipment dimensions. And then 
properties of your media that you're going to be dealing with. Density, viscosities, and, and also the rheology that is in the, that is in, uh, required or your process that describes your process. If you have solid liquid phases, they will ask you some of that information. So you have to be prepared uh, to provide this information For liquid-liquid uh, dispersion systems, the continuous phases and dispersed phases have to be provided. I'm not dwelling on the specific inputs because when the case studies are done later on in various presentations, they will spend a little bit more time on, on these. So I'm just going to run through here. So the interface is simple, intuitive, and also co context relevant. If, if you're dealing with solids, it would bring the right inputs that address solid processing and so on, so you have to provide the input. You can work with SIOU as customary units. It's the other thing is also is that it the response is very is very swift, is very fast. So you can look at results very quick very, very quickly. And so the thing that I I used to tell people is that when you use Visimix, you have a tool that allows you to do exploration. You can run a lot of cases and get insight into your process. And that's the key thing. And that's the key thing about this about this tool. But the last bullet point here, desired process result is not an input into Visimix. So you have to come to Visimix knowing what it is, the process result that you're looking for. That's, that's key, that's important, and I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. And then, okay, so now you have a tool that is relevant and accessible. Is it reliable? Can you depend on it? Does it do the right calculation? Does it give you the right results? Okay? And the way to do this is to, if you have data, if you have a, a collected data for your process, is to Compare the results that you calculate with your data. Or if you have some established correlations, to compare. And when you're comparing, don't just compare just the magnitude, but also compare the functional dependence of these uh, results with the key properties and parameters, mixing parameters. Does it show the right trends? So let me share with you some of the things that I found. Now, one of the key parameters in or, or key fundamentals of Visimix is that um, it depends on being able to describe or model the radial distribution of the mean tangential velocity. So, actually, when we were looking at this tool, try to determine whether it was reliable or not. We, fortunately, we had acquired some data using some uh, later Doppler anemometry in 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 down in in house and so we took one of the data this one was for a pitch plate turbine a nine inch pitch plate turbine uh, rotating at 150 rpm in unbaffled vessel now the the determination was that for a non-baffled system, if Visimix is not able to duplicate or to match the results, then of course we had no interest in it. <laughs> because it, it depends, a lot of the calculations are based on the radial distribution of the mean tangential velocity. And here are the results comparison. I mean, it's, it, they, don't, they don't fall on top of each other, but that's uh, very reasonable, very good. And here is for uh, a disc turbine, nine inch. So, so we were doing very well. So we were that, and of course, related to that radial distribution of its its ability to be able to duplicate or predict vortex depth. And again, you can see the results here: measured data versus Visimix results. And this is actually from a published re report. We looked at that. Um, we also looked at power number calculations compared 
for the radio disturbance, pitchable turbine, and uh, Lightning's A310. And again, reasonable. For the dual impellers, again, quite reasonable. So, so that encouraged us. We looked at impact of suspended solids on the monetization of liquid phase. This is a, a paper that was published in 1997. And again, uh, what, what we, the Vizimix results were provided by Dr. Brzezinski, who was, the, who was one of the co-founders of Vizimix. And uh, again, we were quite pleased with the results. We also looked at drop rate breakage, breakage and coalescence processes, nitrogen uh, dispersions. And we were quite pleased also with these results. I mean, there, there's a lot. If you go to the Vizimix uh, website, there's a lot of documentation of uh, validating the tool itself and so on to give you confidence in the tool. So this is the, the results that we looked at and the trends also uh, are quite good. So we determined then that there was a reasonable match with the data and the results from established correlations, and uh, so acceptable. Now, there were a few cases where we saw some significant deviation from the data, and and also from established correlations, and, and we sought to understand them, and we went back to Vizimix, and they were able to help us uh, understand the differences in the results and so on. One of the things that we found was that Vizimix people are very responsive and they are very willing to work with you. So that was that was very good. So this is our basic assessment that it's an engineering productivity tool. It's a simple, intuitive, context relevant, and very useful for characterizing and comparing well-defined mixing systems. To date, we haven't found any tool because I'm retired now, but I still I I'm, I still explore. I haven't found any tool with similar coverage. So I think I think it's uh, if you have the tool, you should feel confident about using it to uh, help solve the problems that you have. Now the comment that I made is that is a rating tool, not a design tool. So you cannot go to it and tell it, okay, I want this process result and have it come back and tell you, okay, well, you should run your process at these conditions. What you have to do is run your process, run the tool with different process conditions and see which one matches your desired process result. Which means then that you have to know what is the desired process result. And that sometimes I think throws people. Anyway, um, I have time to show a few cases here. This is a problem uh, to address a poor mixing due to problem with pow uh, powder drawdown. So we were adding solids in the form of a powder into a vessel and there was difficulty in being able to incorporate the powder into the liquid. So the, the there were some constraints. This is an existing piece of equipment. And so Impel already was operating at a maximum rotational speed. Solution required to avoid risk of pow powder attrition. We didn't want to further reduce the powder size, particle size. And we didn't want to entrain air into the process. And so we used Vizimix and um, we tried, of course, it's, I just show you. So the previous setup was what's on the left. And what we did was uh, modify setup is what we did here with uh, what's on the right. And it was very successful made the modification switching. I mean, fortunately, the shaft that we had, uh, we could move the impellers on the shaft and locate the impellers at different locations, different, uh, different, along the shaft, in different heights. And 
this worked very, very well, was very, very successful. Another problem here was a scale up from a lab. Uh, the lab equipment that's shown on the bottom left, uh, on the left, the impeller that was used is this paddle that's shown on the bottom there. And the challenge here was to scale this lab equipment to a 6,000 kilogram per batch process. A scale up factor of over 10,000. 10, the question was what reactor to choose. We had a few available idle vessels and so on, agitation systems to, to choose from in order to reduce capital. So the question was how to scale up this agitation, what is the, what is the mixing time and so on. And of course, I showed just this result here, but it did not mean that we just run one case. We run many, many cases with Visimix looking at the variety of equipment that was available for the for for us, and this is what we selected. We went with, and again, the successful scale up implementation. This was a very interesting. This next next case was a very interesting case. Um, in Dow, we did when I was at Dow, we did uh, a lot of CFD calculations um, sometimes, and one of the calculations required simulation or the modeling of modeling of the surface vortex. Now, if you've done CFD, you know that uh, trying to usually when you do CFD, you assume that the surface of the liquid is flat. But for the particular process that we were interested in. A flat surface would not be successful. I mean, similar to the, pow the powder drawdown that I showed you earlier. And so the question was, well, since we've already found that, uh, that Visimix could predict the vortex depth very well, we use Visimix to get the vortex depth and then take the vortex uh, surface and model that and and then put that in the uh, CFD. And that simplified, that, that sped up the process of uh, doing the CFD modeling very, very well. So the vortex depth model was was ported into the CFD mode and uh, uh, and modeled, instead of using a flat surface, the curvature of the surface was taken from Visimix and included in there, and um, and then the CFD was completed using that uh, that surface instead of using a flat, assuming a flat surface, because it would have affected the results. This was to calculate solid volume fraction in this in this vessel. It's a big it's a big project that. Uh, we use both combination of Visimix uh, and CFD to address. Another project that we worked on was uh, we were trying to see whether Visimix could address solid distributions, distribution of heavy solids in, a, in this tank. And this is a big tank also. I can't tell you what the process was. And so these are the various properties of the solid spheres that were used, the chemical system um, that we studied. And again, here are the results, um, various results, 150 RPM, 250 RPM, uh, comparing Visimix results with the, the actual data that we collected. Now, Normally, when we are doing process, uh, when you're solving mixing problems, uh, as I said, we ask a number of questions. Some people, process engineers tend to ask, okay, tell me what the impeller size would be, what speed I should run, and so on. But really, when you use Visimix to address mixing problems, these are these questions that I pose here 
are the questions that you should be asking yourself. What is success for the desired process? That's where you should start with. How does mixing affect the desired process? What kind of mixing will achieve success for the process? What kind of mixing will hurt the process? Sometimes too much mixing or too little mixing can hurt your process. When and why is it important? What measures characterize the effects? And this is where a tool like Abysmic comes in to answer, try and answer these kinds of questions. And that's what we encourage people to do uh, when you're using business. So it's, to summarize this part then, it's uh, the focus then in achieving the desired process results should be the primary focus. And you should link it to what we, what I call here effective mixing. Uh, I mean, there's a variety of mixing that you can carry out with in the stair tank. You don't want to waste too much power. You don't want to spend a lot of money buying equipment, large equipment, and so on. And so Bizimix is a tool that can help you define those things. And you do this by describing the effective mixing in terms of the required hydrodynamics and the relevant physical chemical phenomena. And again, you can use Bizimix to try and do that, uh, confirm it with basic calculations. And, and sometimes when, when you think you have a solution, it's always a good thing to do an experiment, one or few experiments. Uh, having Vizimix doesn't mean that you should not do experiments. I mean, don't get, don't ever develop that habit. But work, try and reduce the number of experiments by using Vizimix to, to explore a variety of options and coming close to what you consider to be the mixing and then use your engineering judgment and then carry out an experiment uh, to verify these things before you actually implement, if, you, if it's possible, okay? And then, again, with a tool like this, you can, once you have decided on the equipment that are, and the operating conditions that will achieve the desired process result, use Visimix to check on the reliability of the mechan mechanical design. Will the shaft be stable? Uh, it allows you to do those kinds of things. So, as I mentioned earlier, these are some of the things that you need to look at. At any scale, you have to look at the physical properties, the phases, the density, viscosity, and rheology. If you have chemistry involved, because be sure to understand the chemical equilibria and the chemical kinetics. And of course, the hydrodynamics, which will involve mixing, and the mass transfer and the heat transfer. And of course, your, your goal here is that at every scale, you should achieve the desired process result. And these, what I show here, the physical properties, the chemistry, the hydrodynamic information and so on, those are the things that you have to go to visit mix with. You have to have some information. Now, our time has come to a close. So let me just share with you some important lessons. Always remember that process failure from inadequate missing is really the is is the cost to you. If you sometimes if you fail one batch, that may mean tens, hundreds, or maybe even millions of uh, uh, dollars tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. And it comes from not getting the right reaction yields, forming byproducts that you have to then work, uh, do some more processing to eliminate or to, to get rid of or to extract the desired uh, product. Processes taking much longer time, not getting the right properties and so on higher cost for purification, as I mentioned. And sometimes you can have less safe operations. Uh, people can get hurt. I mean, you, you've heard about some of the uh, tragedies that have occurred in the, in the chemical and allied industry. So important lesson is that you want to use a tool like Visimix to try and avoid these process failures. And it's important to start early, do your assessment. Do not wait till last minute. 
use Visimix to explore a number of cases and then make a decision to move forward. If you do early assessment, you have opportunity to influence the process decisions, avoid and prevent process scale-up problems and achieve your process goals. Of course, early assessment, you can then, the cost to make changes is much lower than when you go fail and then you have to deal with the consequences of the failure. There are a number of companies that have found Visimic very useful. Here are some of them. But uh, according to uh, Moshe and Gad, there are more than 200 customers who use Visimix and have found the tool to be very satisfactory for their needs. So it's not, it's not a toy. <laughs> Now, of course, I haven't dwelt on the, the inner, inner of it. In other words, the, what equations are being calculated and so on. There are actually reports that have been issued by Visimix at the, on their website. And I would encourage you to go over there and uh, read up on some of these things uh, to get even further confidence about the use of this tool. So I will stop here and uh, entertain any questions that you may have. It's, uh, I have about uh, less than 15 minutes before we end this presentation. So maybe we can, if people have questions, uh, I haven't seen any of the questions, but maybe Moshe, you have seen some and you can read some to me and I'll, I will be happy to address any of them. Okay. So thank you. Th thank you very much Victor, has, for, very, for this very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, we have time, in, in fact, to, to hear questions from you. So you can raise your hand. I can see the hand when you raise the hand. Or you can write the question now. And I will open the, the microphone for you in order to, to ask the question that you, you like to have. Okay? So let, let, me, let me know if you have any question. I will open the, the microphone for you. And it can be questions or comments too. So. Yes, of course. Comments, questions, impressions, everything is open uh, for you. I have a, a Geng. Do you want to tell us something, Dr. Wine Geng? Yes, it's open the microphone for you. Dr. Wine Geng? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, can, I can hear you well. Okay, well. Thank you, Moshi. Uh, by the way, very great, uh, nice presentation by Victor. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the question I had is, uh, what technique would you recommend to use for uh, the calculation of uh, meso mixing by means of busy mix? Okay. Now, um, the question. I hope everybody heard it. What? How would you use Visimix to calculate meso mixing? Now, of course, that that is a very um, I hope you don't mind my saying it. Is that's a very vague question? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, what he's addressing there is uh, macro mixing, meso mixing, and micro mixing, obviously. Uh, if you read, if you go to any of the resources that I showed you, 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 there will be lots of information about those. Usually, meso mixing, of course, by definition, it's 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 not macro, and it is not micro. When does meso mixing become important? It's really the question. When is it important? Right? Is it? Is yes, it, sir. Okay, all right. So when you are adding reagents to a tank, that's usually when the meso mixing aspects are considered. And Visimix allows you to look at blending by adding reagents at different locations at different Add addition rates and you can look at the time it takes to blend a tank and so on by looking at the lo different locations 
So you can add on top of the liquid near the impeller or away near the baffle and so on, and you can look at the mesomixing effects. I, I, I don't know whether that helps you or not. No, that's, but, that's perfect. It, it certainly is. Thank you very much, Victor. I appreciate your insight. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Gwen Gang. Uh, there's any other question from the from the from the participants here? We are uh, open the microphone. Please only raise your hand. I can see the hand when you raise the hand. Your hand, and I will open your uh, the microphone for you. Okay, so if there is no other question, I only want to tell you thank you very much to participate in this first uh, presentation. We will have another presentation and our next uh, uh, lecturer will be uh, Mr. Uh, Yossi Mendel from Teva Industries, Pharmaceutical Industries. Uh, it will be around one and a half months to two months from now. And we will, of course, send to you uh, the, uh, the announcement um, and the, any question you have please ask we will only open and have uh, will be a pleasure for us to send to you answers and, and considerations because we feel that it is a many important point that we have to discover to everyone that this part of the knowledge it will combine the knowledge that you require in order to get better resource and avoid problems in the company. We have another question here. Uh, okay. Uh, is just, no, Josie Mendel te, tell us uh, thank you very much for the presentation. It was a great presentation, so <laughs> good, thank you. <laughs> and uh, okay. and uh, again, we have a very big quantity of participants here, so thank you very much for every one of our users or our potential users that were together with us. So now exactly eight minutes to, to five, it is the time to close. And again, thank you, and uh, we will see you next time uh, in about one and a half months. Be, please take care about the, the emails we sent to you, <laughs> and uh, uh, see you again. Have a good time, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Bye.